to go fishing? Our new prunes. Don't tell them. Darn it. Now we're going to get every fly in the world. He says it looks like I have underwear on my face. She's rambling. There goes my camera falling apart. There's our beetle friend. Sometimes it's nice to have me around. So, why am I doing that? Dang on it. Well, hi everybody. Welcome back. We're on the road again. It's Saturday, and we've had quite a busy Saturday, haven't we? Yes, we have. He's home. We never get to see him anymore, ever. Neither do I. Man works 10 hours a day. One day you work more than that. Yeah. But then he's been working Saturdays. Saturday, six days a week. And it's been so hot. He's maintenance in like a steel fabricating machine shop. Machine shop. A big machine shop. Big job. machine shop. So he's working on big, 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 big. He sends me some pictures of the stuff he works on, and it's like, are you freaking kidding me? That thing's huge. And it's been close to 100 degrees every day, so you know, you guys that work, you guys, right, and women, know how hot it is in those factories. So he comes home and crashes. We've been spending the day together, and guess what? He's been bu he's been busy working. I've been working. He's been working. What did we do today? We. Cut corn. cut corn. We husked corn and cut it off the cob. Yeah, we did that. To Husk. freeze. We husked it <laughs> and we cut it off the cob and put it in baggies to freeze. Right now it's out in the garage laying, we have freezers out in the garage and it's out there laying flat. I'm freezing everything in baggies flat. Whoa, I thought that car was going to hit us. So, why am I doing that? So there'll be more room in the freezer. That's why I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna dehydrate. I have like eight cups of corn that I'm gonna dehydrate. I've never dehydrated corn before. I hope, we're hoping it doesn't stink. I'm hoping it smells as good as the onions. Yeah, onions was uh, delightful. Wait till I do garlic. Garlic I can handle. Really? Onions. Onions. He doesn't is, like onions. Well, yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big onion fan. No, he's not a big onion fan. The he, smell of onions were going in the house, permeating the house. It just it was just permeating and it Yeah. It was day, uh, it was like two days, so Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was bad. It's coming again soon. I'm Garlic gonna, will keep the vampires more away. Onions to do, so but we're out just out and about and we just thought we would just take you with us. Why not? And I'm going to go into the store right now and I'll be right back. All right, now we're going in Rite Aid. 77 people can be in here. Okay, well, I doubt that there's that many. And masks are to be worn. All right, water with the man in the mask. They're jacking their prices up in this store amazingly a lot. I mean, ridiculously a lot. Rob thinks my mask is funny. He says it looks like I have underwear on my face. Tidy whiteies. Tidy whiteies. But it's crazy in here. They're like, they're jacking the prices up in here. The foundation that I usually wear on my face used to be like $8. It's $19 now. Crazy. This is ridiculous. This is Rite Aid. They used to shop here all the time because of the deals and stuff and how cheap it was. Not anymore. All right, cereals buy one, get one free. That's pretty good. And Pop-Tarts, we'll get Pop-Tarts here. They're two for five. But seriously, this is ridiculous. He likes to have Pop-Tarts at work. He's like six foot something, and I'm like, I need to shoot the camera up higher. Babe, there's prunes down there. What? Prunes. Oh yeah, I need some of that. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's some in the refrigerator. I need some prunes. At home. No, there isn't. I threw them away. They molded. Jeez. I don't do prunes. I don't either. Okay. <laughs> Left that store. I'm not real sure if I'm gonna go in there much anymore. Pretty their, crazy. Their prices, all their prices are jacked up. I'm sure that's that way a lot of places, but but still, uh, crazy, crazy. I'm gonna have to start watching sale ads better and couponing. Now we're on our way to another store because we need butter, we need butter, we need just bread and a few things like that to hold us over for another week. I hate going to the grocery store. In fact, I don't go to the grocery store. I usually do an order, so I have to be putting one of those in here shortly, I'm thinking. Although, every time I put an order in, like I shop at Aldi's, they don't have what I need. So I'm going to think, I'm thinking I might have to just go in. 
It's hard for me to go in and shop though. Might have to do that. Right? Yep. Right, right. Right. We've got our, we've got our membership for Sam's Club. We have a lot of stuff, but every time we go in there it's two hundred bucks. Yeah. Sam's Club, you can go in there and spend a, quite a bit of money. But I mean if you shop at Aldi's and stuff like that, you can get the same amount of food cheaper than what you can at Sam's Club in like bulk sometimes. Onward with our day too. We're actually going to the dollar store by our house. I like going in there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. We wanted to go fishing. Maybe we'll go fishing tonight. Maybe. Uh, I, I gotta see if the weather, if the storms pass us. It's not raining right now. I don't see any clouds in sight, but that doesn't mean something is on its way in. Do you want to go fishing? I'll go fishing. No will go fishing. I'll go fishing in daytime. Yeah. We've only gone fishing once this year so far. We need to do that again. Maybe we'll do that now. I could take my crochet in a chair. Not the chair that I had last time, because I can't sit in that chair. Those chairs that fold up, that you know how the chairs are that folded up, folded it up. I need the old time chairs with that were woven in. Remember the webbings. The webbing chairs. I need those chairs to sit in because I have to sit straight up. Maybe we'll have to take a plastic chair for me, throw it in the back of the truck or something. I don't know. Now I'm just rambling. Just rambling. Rambling. I'm rambling. She's rambling. I'm rambling. I'm done rambling now. We're at the store, so I'll talk to you later. Maybe we'll go fishing. Uh, well, I'm at the loofah, along with that big bee. That's a big one. I'm hoping he's doing his job out here. I don't think I see any loofah yet. There goes my camera falling apart. Welcome to my life. The camera just falls apart, but it still records, so we're still good with that. Let me see if I see any loofah. I see a lot of ants. The flowers are so pretty on this in the morning. Let me turn you around. Let's see if we can see anything. Nope. It's been raining most of the day. Let me, all right, I'm going to check and I'll get back with you. Okay, do you see that little thing? I'm not quite sure what that little thing is. That might be a loofah coming. I, or a, I, I have no idea. I've never grown loofah before. But it's starting to rain now. There's another one, see? I'm not sure what that is. I came out here yesterday and all my sunflowers were wilted in this little bed here. I think they'll be okay. It's raining, but we can't let this bed get dry. See the pool beans got all yellow? I didn't water them for like a day. And that's what happened. But we do have pool beans coming. They're little, tiny little beans. Where'd they go? There's our beetle friend. Oh, here's a little bean happening. Little beans are happening out here now. Look at this. The head of that sunflower is going to open and that's going to be very, very pretty. Got a lot of those out here. I did plant some more in this bed, just regular bush beans, but I see these aren't coming up so I have more seeds I might put in there. More sunflowers and the hot peppers. We've got lots more to pick. Maybe tomorrow? Look at that plant. I don't know, maybe tomorrow I'll come out here and pick some more. We have a lot. I'm not real sure what that, that is. I'm not real sure. They're round. This little tiny plant has all these peppers on it. It's just a tiny little thing. I'm amazed. We are going to have a lot of peppers this year. The Rob and the dog are playing ball. The dog's glad he's home too. More peppers in this bed. Good grief there's a bell pepper tomatoes are doing okay I've had the I need to come out see that see that leaf right there that yellow leaf I need to come out and start trimming back again now it's really starting to rain there's all the corn oh see now we need to turn that over because now we're gonna get every fly in the world in the compost so 
we need to get the shovel and take care of this. Oh, I planted more beans over here too by this little stump. Okay, now it's pouring down rain. Daggone it, it's raining, so there goes our fishing. I guess we won't be fishing. Bummer. Babe? No. Oh, now see, I got wet and now I'm cold. Darn it. Now my fiber, my out is gonna. It's raining. Yes. There goes our fishing. I can go fish in the rain. Yeah, I can't fish in the rain. I got an umbrella. Darn it. If I get wet, and then I came in my cold house, let's hope the fibromyalgia doesn't act up. Don't want that. All right. He's checking his weather app. Ask a Google. Do, 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 do. No, I'm going to pick back up again later. Oh, it's going to rain. So much yeah. for the fishing. And I think, hold on. I got water on my camera lens. All right, well, so much for this. But that was our shopping. You got to go in the car with us. Wasn't that fun? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I will see you next time. Bye.